Hello, this is Mini from Mini Art Tech Projects. Done. In this video, I'll be showing how I turned this unused rotary phone into my own fun music library object using Arduino. If you're a tech student, you might be familiar with it. It's a microcontroller that you can wire different electronic parts into and program it to the cool interactions you wish to design and create. About myself, I've known Arduino for about two years now since I took a design and technology master's program. As I'm very interested in Arduino, yet still a new at it, I decided to start documenting myself doing mini projects. People say teaching someone else is the best way to learn. So in my videos, I'll be showing my own documentations of the whole making process. That way, I can show you what I can do, and at the same time, I can learn more stuff and better things from others' comments and feedbacks. As a matter of time, I'm playing my videos at a faster speed, so excuse my weird voice when you hear them. I usually talk very slow, so you can probably still understand. So here we go and enjoy! For this project, I used an Arduino board, a bunch of wires, a SD card reader, resistors specifically 10K and 220, a small breadboard that connects all the components, and finally a rotary phone as an interface. I was first inspired by this one project called the Internet Phone, designed by a few CIID students who used the rotary phone to access internet as a voice format. I'll also put the list of all the references I used in the video description. So, I started to um, write down all the songs um, that were popular on certain dates, and I, so far I went down to 2014. what was on the uh, number one song and I just keep going down by five days if it's the same I keep going by five um keep going just change going back to November and go to the 30th of November and see I, I if I see a different song then I just write them down and then I find what day exactly it changed so it changed on apparently 11, I mean November 30th. So I write down November 30th and until then, oh no, it's, it's... If you look inside when you dial, there's this plastic gear that hits the metal part very quickly. And how many it hits the metal part depends on what you, what number you dial on the dial panel. so many uh, long wires is that I um, displayed this object on the table and at that time of the thesis I had all the wires just tied up to the computer um, that was placed underneath the desk um, but I would eventually have to cut these all down. Um, so these two are If you look inside when you dial there's this plastic gear that hits the metal part very quickly and how many it hits depends on what number you dial on the dial panel. This one is going to connect to positive and the other one is connected to negative as well as to the pin on the Arduino board using 10K resistor. trying to uh, detect next and just like the um, just like the other the digit counter it's supposed to 
Um, use a pen pay, resistor, point into the negative, um, and it's connected here. And we have here one another wire that connects to, I'm going to use number eight on the board. So, My first phase of the code is this and it's supposed to make this Arduino read what number is being dialed on the panel and how many digits are being dialed. For example, right now I've only put 8 digits of the numbers in the serial port and it's all showing 0 because I set it up as 0 and nothing's put it in it as a value. So for example, if I dial 1, the first number is going to be replaced with 1, if I dial 2, second number is 2, I can go on and on and on until it reaches the last number. So the reason why I'm doing eight digits is that eventually I will have to do um, four digits of the year, two digits of the month, um, two digits of the day, and yeah, that's it. I'm only gonna be using eight digits, eight values in this array called my digits. All right. So the next step will be wiring up SD card and playing with the speaker to see if the speaker is working well. Um, uh, the hardest part will be where I will have to convert all the songs into a wave format. And there will be a lot of songs that I'll have to download from YouTube. I think I'm going to spend the whole day again tomorrow for doing that. See ya! Hello, Cookie. She's always, like, leaning her head towards my leg to um, get attention from me. Mm, I think it's hardest time when it's around, like, 2 to 3. And she's, like, fully awake and she's energetic. <laughs> she's, like, so ready to go out to run. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I have, like, work to do until 6. That's my designated work hours, babe. Oh my god. Cookie, I know you're bored. I know, but mom's gotta do work. Hmm? Hmm? What do you want? You want some food? Food, food? Cookies? Treats? No? You want me to throw a ball, ball right? until up to um, 2007 because especially because that is the year I came to the US so I would imagine any songs before then I don't think I have like good memories with um, so it would be just the songs that happened to be popular after the year 2007 Ooh, I'm so excited okay um but the thing is that my next step would be I would have to download all these songs from online and make them into files. That's gonna probably take another day. All right. Day four, hi. Um, so I've been working with the SD reader, SD card reader. So this is the component that takes uh, uh, takes the micro SD card in here. And it, it should have a documentation, well, very well documentation online. So I'll be working with that. And also I'll be working on my code today to uh, make my system only operate when the handset is picked up. So let's see how it goes. When I work with wires, I would literally have to look for a specific website that has the well documentation, and I'm not gonna be remembering where the, each wire goes to. So I would like to do. I really like doing this, these labels as um, as a little like note on each wire. So here is how I do. Um, so let's let's see if I can find a documentation for wiring up a SD card. How to use. SD card reader with Arduino. Like every developer says, Google is your best friend. And so is mine. SD card module with Arduino. How to read and write data. Using SD library to read and write files. Um, I would just say I'll put MP3 player. Audio player using Arduino with micro SD card. I think that sounds very similar to what I'm trying to do. Um, I'm sorry, shows how specifically each one of the components 
um, goes to which pin on the Arduino board. So, so CS pin. Just finished um, writing a simple code that reads these two wires that is connected to where the handset is going. And basically has two states. One is hung up, one is picked up. So if you put, if you put the handset down, it, it goes like this. And if you, if you pick up the handset, it goes like this. I have um, a simple code right here that reads the status. And here's what happens. When I put it down, it says hung up. And when I switch it, it says picked up. So now my Arduino knows when the phone handset is picked up or hung up. And What this website is literally telling is that you have to download the song and you have to convert that mp3 file into waveform. So I'll be doing that um, as a sample music. So I was able to listen to the song with this little speaker inside the handset. And I think there are two things now. I have to figure out how to trigger different songs. Um, and I have to see if this Arduino board can handle like hundreds of songs um, to be communicated through this SD card reader. So I'll be back after doing it. Bye. Here, let me show you how I'm, how I'm converting all these music files into wave formats. So this is the website I'm using. And here are the songs in MP3 format. And I'm moving those files, dropping in here. And apparently this website doesn't let me do uh, more than three files at once. So here I'm changing the settings to 8 bits, 16K hertz, hertz and mono. And that's it. And I do start conversion. Then it will give me an option to download all these songs into a zip file. And here I have the zip file. Um, so once I open it, I will have these waveforms, formats, wave songs. Then I move it, move it to. pick up the phone and get it started right there and as I um so I've um, coded my code so that it plays a, a certain song named this when I put in 2006 November so it's it becomes the date of the thing and here if the song's playing I don't know if you can hear it well And if you hang up, um, the song stops. Oh, 
Turn it this. Turn it this way. problems may occur um so my whole code was taking up to 94 percent of dynamic memory of the uno board and it resulted in not playing the songs properly because it had it has not enough memory to control my code so a simple difference between uno board and the mega board is that this one has eight times more memory space it simply means that it can take up more uh more code to manipulate it can um control and uh, process more functions more variables so I will be switching off to the mega board from now on. Let's see how it goes. See ya. So I've been struggling with all these wires um, that cannot be uh, that cannot be hidden underneath the phone. So in order to make it um, hideable, I wanted to use this little um, this little board uh, instead of the bigger fretboard. So here's how I will. Do it. <laughs> 